on the back stretch. Steve David back a bit, but he has plenty of time to make that up, and he's going to come around and try to time the start and try to get ahead of rival Dave Vilwalk, who will be off to his right. Two guys on the outside have the longer way to go. They have to fan out. Now Steve David puts the hammer down and starts to fly through that blue bridge, through the, uh, the western turn as everybody else kicks up the rooster tails. They've done their timing runs during the testing. They know exactly how long it takes them to get down to the starting line. Here they come. You've got Bernard on the inside, then Greg Hopp, then J. Michael Kelly, and then Steve David. Dave Hillwalk lagging back at 5, 4, 3, 2, there's the zero. It looked like a good start on my watch. Phil Walk is back a little bit. Steve David has a nice advantage over him going into the first turn. We would expect the leader to be someone over on the inside. Maybe Jeff Bernard in lane one can come through here in first place. We see both red boats out front. It is Bernard with the lead at the apex, but we have to watch now as he comes onto the back stretch. Will anybody come with him? Bernard has enough race boat to get ahead of this field, and that's exactly what he's done. Now, I think I see his teammate through the spray. We see Greg Hopp running back there. All all boats are in the same rooster tail as they go up the back stretch. The Formula team is out ahead. J. Michael Kelly now right beside Jeff Bernard and is moving out slightly ahead of him. And we can't see the two boats that are outside of them, but that is Steve David and the Spirit of Qatar with Dave Villawak as well. Top of the race course, turn number two, first time of three times around. Here they all come, Steve, off the buoy. It's Jeff Bernard leads him down the front straightaway. Right next to him is teammate J. Michael Kelly, and then it's Steve David, and then it's Dave Villawak. They're all within about three boat lengths. J. Michael Kelly appears to have boat speed on his teammate, and Steve David is catching both of them. The two boats that were on the outside, Steve David and Dave Vilwak, are going to fly into this turn very nearly up with the leader. Jeff Bernard not able to hold off his teammate, but now you see him use the inside as an advantage and take the lead back. J. Michael Kelly, a great turn right there as he pulls in right beside his teammate, and you see that they put a little water between them and the boats in third and fourth, using the inside well. Yes, and they're still at Leading, it's Kelly leading up the back stretch right next to him, one boat length behind teammate Jeff Bernard, hidden in the rooster tails behind them, both Steve David and the O'Boy Alberto and the spirit of guitar Dave Vilwak. Second time around, they come to the top end of the race course. This is going to be a great race for another lap and a half. J. Michael Kelly, actually the leader in lane two, leaving a lot of room for his teammate Jeff Bernard. And of course, the boats to his right having a great race. It looks like Vilwak now is pulled up beside Steve David. Vilwak is going to take third place. David will drop back. Back into fourth, it's Kelly by a nose at the end of that lap. But they are dead even three across. Bernard, Kelly, and Vilwak as they head down to the Blue Bridge turn. It didn't take much more than about 100 feet past the end of lap two for Vilwak to catch the others. And Steve David now is just a little bit back. We'll see if they get cleanly through that turn. There comes Vilwak. Said earlier, Dave Vilwak drove around and his, uh, his, uh, in Detroit, he drove around everybody from lane number four. We saw Steve David in the overhead shot really get caught in a, in a mess between lanes two and three. I believe he got slowed down a little bit by some rough water. Look at Phil Walk go. The U96 Spirit of Qatar now on the back stretch is leaving the two red boats. J. Michael Kelly a little bit of a lead over Jeff Bernard. That's the race for second and third. Steve David is in the rooster tails. We can't tell you exactly where he is until they turn toward us. Phil Walk has the lead as they head this way but he is on the outside. He is the leader, though. He holds the lead coming out of that turn. Here's the checkered flag for Dave Vilwak in first place. A close race for second, and it's J. Michael Kelly by about a boat length over Jeff Bernard. Steve David runs fourth in the Oh Boy Alberto. What a boat race. When you line them up like that, Mark, exciting stuff is expected. Ex exciting stuff is exactly what happened. Well, I think that we got our money's worth for that. Wow, uh, what that a boat heat. race. Yeah, they did. That uh, that was a very, very exciting <laughs> exciting heat of racing. Uh, Jeff Bernard taking the lead, battling back and forth with his teammate, J. Michael Kelly, Steve David, and Dave Vilwak on the outside. And finally, on that last lap, Dave Vilwak just kind of walked away from him on the outside. I think he's shown he can drive around pretty much anybody. And it's not too early to mention that Dave Vilwak scores 400 points for that win. 300, 225, 169 for Steve David. I think that's enough of a difference now to put Vilwak temporarily at least in the lead for the National High Point Championship. That's one of the very big issues here today. The National High Points as well, of course, as being the champion of the Lamb Weston Columbia Cup. 